Amid the ruins of old Mosul stirs a cultural awakening the city hasn't seen in decades. Members of Mosul's orchestra, established just three months ago by a local radio station, in rehearsal. Many are beginners, others played in secret during ISIL's rule. The terrorist organization banned music. People were scared and the society did not encourage or support musicians. But that began to change when ISIL was driven out in 2017. The energy of the youth, which had been hidden before, started to come out. Now Mosul is flourishing. The orchestra is a melting pot of religious and ethnic groups, just like Mosul used to be before ISIL, just like they want it to be again. The main goal of the orchestra in Mosul is to revive life in the city, especially in destroyed areas like this church. Now I wish Mosul city can return to its former beauty. I hope that peace does return here. Three, two, one, cue. But the orchestra has no budget, no proper place to rehearse. The hope is a promotional video to be published online will attract attention and funding. Musicians and artists are spearheading Mosul's cultural revival and say they're doing so despite limited support from the government. Their work is a show of hope for the future and a way to process the collective trauma from ISIL's devastating three-year reign. That trauma screams from many of Khleif Mahmoud's paintings. The veteran artist fled the city in 2014. His pieces from that period portray the chaos of war and displacement. But after ISIL's defeat, the grey tones gradually gave way to pink, green and yellow. The facial expressions of his characters softened. I changed my colors, I gave them more optimism for the future. I have hope that through all my art I can send a message to the world that we are people who like art and beauty, that we like peace away from terror. His colleague Lubna wants to revive memories of Mosul's architectural heritage, much of which was destroyed during the war. Most of the things I paint are take from what was there before. My art depends on old architecture like domes, stairwells, old folklore, but all that was destroyed, so I use old archive photos for my work. Her paintings also depict women, who now enjoy greater freedom, a reflection of how Mosul is opening up again, and a sign that its residents have turned a new page. Simona Foltin, Al Jazeera, Mosul.